from veterans in the United States went straight to the top today. President Obama accepted the resignation of the head of Veterans Affairs there. For weeks now, explosive allegations have emerged about the treatment of veterans, including that dozens of them died while waiting for care. Jennifer Johnson reports. Four-star General Eric Shinseki is a decorated war hero. Today, he is out of a job. Secretary Shinseki offered me his own resignation. With considerable regret, I accept it. Shinseki took the fall for a systematic failure that left thousands of American veterans desperately waiting for proper medical care. Hours before resigning, he spoke. I extend an apology to the people whom I care most deeply about, and that's the veterans of this great country. The general also reached out to soldiers' families, mothers like Patricia Sims, whose son was killed in a standoff last weekend with Kansas City police. His body fell from here. You can see blood, blood, blood. Isaac Sims was an Iraq War veteran with post-traumatic stress disorder, but told he had to wait a month to be admitted to a VA center. I only had one son, and he didn't care if he had a bed or not. He just slept on the floor. He just wanted to be helped. But thousands didn't get the help they needed. The worst was in Phoenix, Arizona, where vets waited an average of 115 days for an initial appointment, although the center reported a 24-day wait. They start telling us that um, we need to put in, make the wait time zero wait time to make it seem like uh, the patients didn't have to wait that long. The delays resulted in over 40 deaths in Phoenix, but problems were found in 1,700 other VA facilities. So in a city where Republicans and Democrats disagree over virtually everything, more than 100 lawmakers from both sides of the aisle agreed on one thing, that it was time for Shinseki to go. President Obama is now promising to fix the problems and get improved, timely medical care to America's veterans. After all their sacrifices, the president says they deserve so much better. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.